the James Webb Telescope has provided the clearest image of Proxima b in history, revealing astonishing insights about this potentially habitable exoplanet. As we embark on a journey through space to uncover the mysteries of Proxima b, we seek to find out whether it could be the next Earth. This intriguing planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. Proxima b isn't just any ordinary rock, it's Earth's cousin, located just 4.2 light-years away from us. This planet is shrouded in mystery and wonder. Could it be another Earth, with oceans and life flourishing on its surface? 32 seconds. However, there's more to Proxima Centauri b than meets the eye. It isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star, it has a companion. Who knows what other secrets the star system holds? Perhaps there's another planet that we have yet to discover. Proxima Centauri b receives roughly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this truly mean that there's water on its surface, and perhaps even life? One minute and five seconds. As we venture beyond our own solar system, we encounter a vast universe of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With approximately 200 billion stars in the universe, the possibilities for exoplanets are endless. Some exoplanets even wander freely, untethered to any star, like rebellious explorers in space. Among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a particularly striking and fascinating planet. Its year lasts just 11.2 Earth days, and it orbits its star at a distance much closer than Earth is to the Sun. This means that likely one side of the planet is perpetually bathed in sunlight, while the opposite side remains in eternal darkness. 1 minute and 41 seconds. Now, let's discuss Proxima Centauri, the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system, which also includes Alpha Centauri a and b. Together, these stars form the closest star system to our own solar system. Alpha Centauri a and b are a binary system, appearing as one star in the constellation Centaurus, and are the third brightest stars in our night sky. 2 minutes and 17 seconds. With a magnitude of less than 2.7, Proxima Centauri, also known as Alpha Centauri c, is a red dwarf star located 0.21 light-years away from the other two stars, roughly four times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It is, in fact, the closest star to us. As its name implies, Proxima means nearest in Latin. Discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Aiton Innes, Proxima Centauri, despite being our nearest celestial neighbor, is not visible to the naked eye. It has an apparent magnitude of 11.13, which is much fainter than the visible limit of 6.5. 2 minutes and 56 seconds. Nonetheless, don't let that fool you, Proxima Centauri is still a star worth marveling at. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy production. They may not produce a great deal of energy, but the internal convection processes at their cores keep them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a stable main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. 3 minutes and 28 seconds. However, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still debated. For one, it's a flare star, meaning it experiences regular and intense variations in brightness. As a low-mass star, its habitable zone would be much closer than the Sun's, projected to be between 0.023 and 0.054 astronomical units. However, it's not as livable as it appears. Proxima b is bombarded by intense ultraviolet radiation from its star, many times stronger than the radiation we receive from our Sun. This radiation is so powerful that even the lightest particles of hydrogen could be stripped away, not to mention nitrogen and oxygen. 4 minutes and 2 seconds. But just because a planet is at the right distance from its star doesn't mean it can support life. Proxima b may not have a stable atmosphere, which is crucial for regulating temperature and maintaining a water-friendly surface. Without it, living organisms would be vulnerable to harsh space weather, making life nearly impossible. So, while Proxima b might seem Earth-like on the surface, it is far from being able to support life. Many remain skeptical, as various factors render it unsuitable for habitation. Planets, three of which lie within the habitable zone? This remarkable planetary system, located just 39 light-years away, has captured the imagination of astronomers and the public alike. With its compact layout and Earth-sized worlds, TRAPPIST-1 gives us a unique opportunity to study multiple potentially habitable planets around a single star, 
a cosmic jackpot in the search for life. But Trappist, one is just the beginning. With next-generation telescopes like the James Webb and the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, scientists are poised to study exoplanet atmospheres in unprecedented detail. By analyzing the light passing through or reflected by these atmospheres, they hope to detect signatures of life, gases like oxygen, methane, or even industrial pollutants that might indicate intelligent civilizations. Meanwhile, closer to home, the Proxima Centauri system continues to intrigue. New models suggest that Proxima B might experience a greenhouse effect due to trace gases, which could raise temperatures just enough to allow liquid water to exist in sheltered areas, such as deep oceanic trenches or beneath thick ice. If this proves true, Proxima B could support microbial life, even if its surface is hostile. Speculation has even turned to the possibility of subterranean life, shielded from radiation and extreme temperatures beneath the planet's crust. This wouldn't be unprecedented. After all, Earth itself harbors vast biospheres deep underground, independent of sunlight, relying instead on chemical energy from the planet's interior. And the potential of Proxima Centauri C and the newly proposed Proxima Centauri D only deepens the mystery. If D truly exists, it could be a rocky world similar in size to Mars, possibly an ancient relic of a once more dynamic planetary system. Could it have once supported life? Could it still? To answer these questions, astronomers are pushing the boundaries of innovation. Concepts like Breakthrough Starshot aim to send tiny spacecraft to Proxima Centauri at a fraction of light speed, reaching the system in just over 20 years. These probes, driven by powerful lasers and equipped with miniaturized cameras and sensors, could deliver our first close-up images of another planetary system. Such missions are ambitious, bordering on science fiction, but the pace of technological progress makes them increasingly plausible. Just a few decades ago, the idea of finding Earth-like planets around other stars was a dream. Today, it is a scientific reality. As we continue our search, the universe remains a vast and tantalizing enigma. Each discovery brings us closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone? And as telescopes gaze deeper into the cosmos, the echoes of distant worlds whisper back, perhaps not for the first time, and certainly not the last. Aboard the Artemis Pathfinder, an advanced robotic probe launched 15 years earlier under the Breakthrough Starshot program, systems came online as it approached the Proxima Centauri system. Despite its tiny frame, Barely the size of a smartphone, the probe carried an array of revolutionary nano-instruments, powered by a fusion of AI-driven navigation and quantum-enhanced sensors. As it approached Proxima B, the Pathfinder began transmitting compressed bursts of data back to Earth. At first, it was the expected, images of a reddish barren surface scarred by meteor impacts, vast stretches of dry regolith, a sky lit with the crimson glow of its red dwarf sun. But on day 37 of the orbital survey, Something changed. The Pathfinder caught a flicker, a brief, rhythmic glint along the planet's twilight terminator, where day meets night. Engineers on Earth scrambled to recalibrate. Was it a sensor error? A cosmic ray. But then the pattern repeated. Three flashes. Pause. Two flashes. Longer pause. Three again. A pattern. It wasn't natural. And then came the spectral scan, Narrowband emissions centered around 1,420 MHz, the hydrogen line, the same frequency that Earth's own early SETI programs had monitored decades ago, hoping for a signal. The data was faint, distorted, warped by interstellar travel, but unmistakable. It had structure. Back on Earth, the news sent shockwaves through every nation, every science academy, every living room. The signal wasn't just repeating. It was evolving as if responding to the probe. The implications were staggering. If intelligent life existed, or had once existed, on Proxima B, it changed everything. It meant we were no longer theorizing about habitable zones or speculating about biosignatures. We were witnessing contact. But contact with what? A current civilization? An ancient, automated outpost? Or a long-dead beacon, whispering into the dark for anyone still listening? And the greatest question of all, were they watching us too?